Welcome to Everyday Decoding. This is part 7 of Cloud Storage Access 3 API using Microsoft SP.NET MVC file. In this tutorial, we will learn about Google Picker API. It provides us file open dialog box, file uploading dialog box, file viewing and sharing, and file downloading. What is Google Picker API? Why use Google Picker API? How to enable and register Google Picker API for your application? How to create Google Picker API project using JavaScript code? and discuss some important features of Google Picker API and last, a real life example of Google Picker API. So, first of all, what is Google Picker API? Google Picker is a file open dialog box for information stored in Google servers. With Google Picker, you can access and upload photos, videos, maps and documents stored in Google servers. You can use this interface to our web page or Android phones or any other devices. Okay. In real life application, you can see the specific kind of dialog box. And this dialog box is a picker dialog box. And I have already told you, Google Picker is nothing but a file opening dialog box. All the content of my Google Drive, and this is a specific upload tab. By clicking this upload tab, you can upload a specific file into the specific folder of my Google Drive. Okay, and this dialog window will be appeared within your web page inside a iframe. Next question in our mind. Why use Google Picker API? Google Picker is just like a graphical interface of Google Drive and other Google properties. It provides user a more modernized experience, a dialog experience with many views, showing previews or thumbnails and many more. Web developers can incorporate Google Picker API by just adding a few lines of JavaScript code. Mainly, Google Picker API is used for view, open, uploading, and searching files information from Google Drive items, Google Picasa web photo albums, YouTube videos, Google Maps, Google Images, video searchings, and many more. So, next question in our mind, how to enable and register Google Picker API for your application? This is a specific link. Just I am clicking this specific link within a new tab which guides you through creating a project in Google Picker API console for enabling API and creating credentials. And this is a specific web page. And within this page, you can enable your Google Picker API. This is a console window. So first of all, this console window will ask you to create a project. In my case, I am already creating this project. In your case, you can create a project and then click continue. Okay. So I just go to this main window and within a main window, APIs.service and I am going to this credential page and within a credential page all the credentials about my Google Picker APIs are displayed and this is a first API key. So how can I create this specific API key? Just click on this create credential window and this is the API key. When you click this specific option you can create this specific API key. See this OAuth 2.0 client IDs. So here I am generated two OAuth client IDs. So how can I create this OAuth 2.0 client ID? When you click on this credit credentials button, as you can see, this is the OAuth client ID. This API key is only used for authentication purpose. Okay. This OAuth client ID requires the user console so your app can access the user data. So you need to generate these two key. First API key and second OAuth 2.0 client ID. You can generate this key in multiple time for multiple application purpose. Go to my blog and within a blog, as you can see, after creating those API keys and OAuth client ID, we need to create a Google Picker API project using JavaScript. I am using Visual Studio 2017. So if you have Visual Studio 2013 or any higher version, then you can use this for this specific API code. Okay, so I just creating a Visual Studio application. So here I am typing Visual Studio and within a Visual Studio, just create a new project, click on file, new project and put a project name Google Picker API. Okay, just click on OK button and here I am creating a empty MVC application, click on OK button within a controller just right click on the specific folder and add a new controller just click on add button and click on controller here i am creating mvc5 empty controller just click on add button and here i am put a controller name home controller just click on add button mvc project create a home controller 
within a controller this is a specific action method index okay so just i am right click on the specific action method and add new view put a name of the specific view index as the name of specific action method okay just click on add button okay now my view is ready and within a view folder you can see this home folder this is a index.cshtml that means this is my view and within a controller folder this is a home controller that i am created right now just i'll go to my blog and within a blog create a google picker api using javascript so i just copy the specific code okay just paste it within my visual studio paste the specific code under the h2 tag the pasted code so first we need to create some things and here is the specific api key and client id so i am already told you about api key and client id and what is the purpose of this specific key so i just go to my google console api this is the specific credential space and within a credential i just copy this specific key okay and go to my visual studio and within the specific api key i just pasted the specific key this is the first step second step i am go to my console window again i just need a oauth 2.0 client id so i just copy the specific client id this is a oauth 2.0 client id and go to my visual studio and i am replace this specific code within my client id now two steps is ready first steps you can generate the api key and paste this api key and after that you need to generate the client id oauth 2.0 client id and paste it right here one more things you need to do you need to use this specific api key in another place of this specific code within my cdn link two cdn links are used for loading the google picker api script so here is the specific api key needed okay so i am paste the specific api key so right now two cdn link is ready okay now i am introduce the specific javascript code for google picker api purpose so with this specific code first you need to create a specific constructor functions in javascript you can call a specific class javascript constructor function this is a specific constructor function file picker and these functions that means this class have some properties okay so first property is api key second property is client id third property is specific pattern and rest of these events why i am creating this specific constructor function and this is the instance of the specific function as a parameter of the specific constructor function i am passing api key client id pattern id and on click event so later i am told you why i am using on click event so first of all this api key client id and pattern id i am retrieved by using the specific file picker constructor function within a code this is a specific button all file pick this is the specific id of this button this is a specific anchor tag okay and this anchor tag id i am getting by using document update element id this is a javascript notation and i am putting this within a variable button event and this button accept this specific constructor function and after that we need to specify two events on click and button dot add event listener that means i need to add the event handler with this specific button whenever i am click the specific button this method is fired so what is the purpose of this specific function open dot bind just go to my under portion of the specific code here you can see file picker dot prototype so this constructor function have a lot of methods that means this constructor function have a lot of functions all function that means this function name is open and this function name is show picker many more functions and all our functions are binding by this specific keyword dot prototype so why i am using this dot prototype keyword every time the object that means instance of the specific file picker can create a single copy of specific function so if i am not using this prototype keyword in that case picker instance create a multiple copy of the specific functions if i am not using this prototype keyword okay so this is the specific concept of the prototype functions and i am using multiple function just put a name of the specific function here i am using open function show picker function so what is the responsibility of this open function open function responsibility first checks the user is authenticated or not if it is authenticated then show picker method is called so first 
Google API dot org dot get token. This specific class retrieved from Google API loader script. Here is the specific token, and I am passing this specific token. If it has token, that means this variable is not empty. Then show picker method is fired, and otherwise you need to authenticate it. Okay, so do auth this method is fired as soon as. So after that authentication is successful, it again show picker method is bind. If you are already authenticated, so don't need to call this do auth functions. If you are not authenticated right now, then we need to call do auth function and after that show picker function. Okay, just go to my do auth function. This do auth function calling by driver API loaded functions. So what is the driver API loaded function? These driver API loaded functions are called at the first time. Okay, so these three lines of code set picker API functions and this belongs to the client script of G API. This method take this specific API key. So here I am passing the specific API key by the instance of picker method. Okay, and this API method getting the information of respected APIs. Okay, and after that we need to load the Google Drive. Google picker API is load the information of Google Drive. So Drive API that loaded method. First of all, it check the user the currently logged in is authenticated or not. So just I am go to the specific driver API loaded. Here is the specific method. This method calling a do auth function. Authentication is processed within this do auth function. So under this do auth function. So what is the purpose of the specific function? This function is authenticated with Google Drive via Google Picker API. So the script is loaded and within a script this constructor function is fired okay and this constructor function take three things as a parameter first parameter is client id o auth client id already discussed about the specific client id i am using this client id by using this keyword that means file picker constructor functions second parameter is scope scope is the access level of your drive that means google drive so if you are watching my part 2 Google Drive API video, you can see this drive scopes that means drive, drive app data, drive files, drive access permission scope of your application. So here I am using drive files. So by using drive files, view and manage Google Drive files and folders that you are open and created with these apps. So I am using this access level. Okay. Now I am going to my Visual Studio. Within the Visual Studio, third parameter is immediate. That means this callback function immediately fire after I am authenticated with Google Drive API. The responsibility of this function just authenticated Google Drive API. Okay. Right now, go to the upper portion of the specific JavaScript code. This is a specific load function. This load function is immediately fired after the Google Drive API is loaded. And the responsibility of this specific function, I am passing this specific function as a third parameter of this specific load function. And GAPI is the specific class that we are getting from Google API script. Okay. Getting the specific function, this specific function is immediately called after Google Drive API picker was finished loading. I want to disable the specific button or I want to enable the specific button after clicking and picker API is binded. So in this case, I am disable equals to false. That means I don't want to disable the specific button. Okay. It's completed right now. The main functionality of the specific function show picker. So show picker is immediately called after authentication. So first of all, it getting the access token from the specific class. And this access token is useful opening the file picker. This is a specific picker builder constructor functions. This picker builder constructor function play the important role to binding the dialog box. So what features I want to getting from this file picker builder and what function I don't want. By using this instance, we are adding a specific view. Keep remember that minimum one view need to show the dialog box. Otherwise dialog box can't appear. By using this add view, we are displaying what type of information we want to view. So display view method, this display view method showing all the content of my Google drives. 
this method take boolean parameter that means true i am getting all the documents with folders with my google drive okay this object i am passing add view method as a parameter after that enable features what kind of features we want to enable within the google picker api if i am select multiple file at a time in that case we want to use google.picker.features dot multi select underscore enable this is a one kind of enum if i am not using this specific line then we can't select multiple file at a time so if you want to enable the multi select features then you must need to add this specific line okay after that set api by using this method we are passing a client id again i am told you oauth client id and after that add view again i told you you can set multiple view at a time and every view you can access by using a tab by using this google picker api dialog box you can view the specific file as well as you can upload a specific file within a specific folder or a main folder just go to this upload view object this upload view object create a instance of docs upload view i want to upload a file with a specific folder by selecting a folder from the google picker api dialog box set include folders it take a boolean parameter true this statement create a tab within a google picker api dialog box and i am upload a specific file this specific line enable the multi select that means i am uploading multi file at a time within a specific folder that i am selected at this run time okay after that save oauth token that means this is a specific access token by using this specific access token we are passing set oauth token so we need to pass this access token as a instance of this specific file builder constructor function and after that the picker have a response that means if i am select a specific file within a file picker or if i am upload a specific file into the file picker immediately a response is fired this response is handled by picker response method that means this picker response functionality is immediately fired when i am selecting anything within my google picker okay when i selecting a specific file the data came from in json format that means this is a specific parameter that means data parameter so what type of response we are getting from the response are two types that means response dot action and response dot cancel if i am response dot action equals to google dot picker dot action dot pick that means i want to getting the information of specific file then this statement is true if i am cancel google picker api in that case this function is not true and is go to the else part no else part of the specific if statement so after that we are retrieving the specific information that means the zero index position of the specific data json information and putting within a file object and i am getting a id object and after that this is a specific request object by using this request object getting the files information from google drive and this request object is executed by a specific function the name of the specific function get file details the responsibility of the specific function it accept this that means this file object under this port if condition and this dot on click that means if i am clicking of the specific file immediately on click even fired this on click functionality return back to the upper portion of this on click method this on click methods catch the information from this specific picker response class okay and this picker response class return a files information as a json format and after that this json data i am retrieving files information that means file id and after this this file id requested and executed and get return to this specific function get file details and this file details have a on click event handler and this on click event handler are immediately return upper portion of this specific constructor class object picker and this picker can access this on click event handler okay now you may be understand event handler why i am use this specific event handler and this event handler immediately receive the files information and within a files object i am getting a specific property file id and after that we are creating a pop up and this is a specific jquery pop up functionality we are passing a specific url first parameter is url second parameter is title 
and put a name of the specific pop-up and height and width okay type dot google dot com dot file slash b after that i am passing a specific file id that means this file object file id property and slash view that means i want to view the specific files information okay now i am build this application it will success okay so but whenever I run this application, I am not successfully execute this code. I am getting error. Why I am getting this error? In later, I will explain each and everything. So right now, I am run this specific application. Look at that. This is a specific button. All drive items that I am reflected within my HTML code. Within a browser, when I just click on the specific anchor tag, and as you can see, this is a specific error message, 400. Okay, and this error message says JavaScript origin in the request. That means HTTP colon double slash localhost colon 64813 does not match the once authorized for OAuth client ID. That means this localhost doesn't match with my client ID. So when I go to the credential of my Google API console, as you can see, this is a OAuth client ID section. So I am using this first OAuth client ID edit button when i click on this as you can see this is a specific authorized javascript origin as you can see within my error message okay javascript origin in the request you need to specify your production url in my case i am running this application in my localhost right now my localhost is a server we need to attach url within a oauth client id section so just paste this specific localhost url just pressing enter this javascript origin identify your application url and just click on save button you need to specify your url within another place that means api key section just click on edit button of the specific api key and here is the application restriction section that means click on this non radio button then your application is open anywhere but if you want to restrict your application in my case this application is only fired within http referrals if i am using ip address in that case i am just clicking on this i am putting a ip address of my application if you want to access your application from android app you have choose the specific option and as well as ios app what url used in my application and these urls are mapped within this specific api key make sure that note it may take up to five minutes for setting to take effect that means after you put your url okay here i am putting a specific url here i am currently using this specific url so just i am copy the specific url and go to the console section and here i am paste the specific url okay so i need to access the specific url within my application after five minutes or a later so just save the specific button run this application again right now i am click on the specific all drive items as you can see when i click on this that means authentication is processed so right now there is no picker is appear second time when i click on this specific option as you can see this option is not working that means this picker api is not prepared right now after a few times click on the specific icon as you can see google picker api dialog box will be appear and you can see my all the google drives icon okay these are folders and these are files you can also change the view that means right now we are viewing grid view when i click on this you can also see the list view okay and there is the another tab upload tab by using this upload tab you can select any file from my computer and i have upload this specific file within a google drive okay so just i upload this specific icon and as you can see the file is selected you can add a more files by using the specific interface within my visual studio as you can see this is a specific line enable features google.picker.features.multiselect enable this enum so this line is responsible for attaching multiple file at a time and all as well as i am selecting multiple files at a time okay you can also upload a specific file just multiple file at a time and we need to upload the specific files within a specific folder 
this is a account department docs folder and I'm select the specific folder and upload to these folders that means selected files are uploaded to the specific folders and when I click on this as you can see when I click on the specific upload button two files are uploaded into my account department docs folder okay two files and when I click on the specific folder as you can see two files that means two image files are uploaded into the specific folder okay when you click on the specific image as you can see this image will be appeared within a big screen that means this is a javascript pop-up okay you can download the specific image by using the specific option or you can share the specific image by using this option or you can also comment the specific image this google picker api allow you to view the content of google drives not only for google drives you can use any google services okay next question is what are the main important features of google drive apis by using google picker api you can access document in advanced way the main concept is that create a picker object using picker builder constructor function that means and this file picker object calling by the specific instance that means picker instance and this is the main functionality that means this picker builder play the important role to bind this specific type of dialog box in my blog the picker instance represents the google picker dialog box with picker dialog box rendered on web page inside a iframe so when you go to the web page and when i click on inspect options as you can see this these are specific iframes that means these iframes and these are multiple iframes by using these iframes this dialog box will be appear okay so next this is the specific source code and for example there are some basic important features are not only for views you can upload files using google picker api dialog box and this is a specific line this line is responsible for uploading a file into the google drive by using google picker api dialog box okay and you can select and upload single or multiple file at a time using google picker api and this line is responsible for selecting multiple content within a google picker okay and after that you can upload file into the folder by selecting which folder you want that means if I am selecting a file into the specific folder so this specific line is responsible for uploading a specific file into the Google Drive that means this piece of code set include folders this function taking boolean parameter if I am passing true in that case I am uploading a specific content that means any file into a specific folder that I am one okay so you can also filter your view as per your requirements for all documents and folders we are adding a specific view okay so within a add view function create an instance of doc views we are assigning the specific function set include folders we are specifying boolean true you can view all documents and folders within my google drive by using google picker api only for documents just add the specific line that means this add view function create an instance of google.picker.view within a view we just passing the specific id that means view id dot docs if i am passing the specific docs id then we can only view the documents we can't see any folders if you want to filter only powerpoint documents you can use this specific view id that means presentations for all documents can passing the specific id only for presentation documents you have to pass the specific id if you only view only spreadsheet documents in that case you are passing the spreadsheets as a view id of the specific functions and if you can only view the images in that case we are passing the specific id docs underscore images so these view ids are nothing but an enum and we are attaching as per your filter view so these are basic and important features of google picker api now we are discuss a real life example of google picker api 
a real life application development is depend on our client's requirement suppose a company has three departments and each of those departments has different document structures for example hr documents are stored within these specific folders as well as accounts requirement documents are stored within the specific account department's documents and IT department employees are stored their documents into the specific folders and these folders are only accessible for HR employees account department folders is only accessible for account employees and IT department's users are only access this specific folder so how can I achieve this by using Google Picker API just go to the Visual Studio Within a picker builder object, we need to change this display view section and upload view section. So I want to access this specific folder that I display within my Google Drive that means HR department docs. Okay, I want to access this folder only. How can I access this specific folder within my Google picker? This is the ID of this specific folder and this ID is displayed within the URL okay just copy this specific ID and go to the Visual Studio first you need to change the view section that means display view section within a display view section we need to uncomment this specific line okay and here I am put my folder ID so this folder content is only accessible to the employees that means HR employees okay and I am commented the specific line I don't need to view all the documents I want to show only those folder contents that means HR documents okay now right now I am comment the specific section so I don't want to upload all the documents I only upload it within a specific folder that means HR users so I just uncommented the specific line here I am put the specific file ID okay I am uploading a file only this specific folder ID HR documents folder okay so this is the upload view and this is a display view right now I am save this project go to the browser and I am rerun this application just refresh this browser window moment I do that when I click on all drive items as you can see I never seen any documents right now this specific folder has no content that's why I am not view anything right now just go to the upload section and just select this file from my computer and I am select the specific image and click on open as you can see this new file is selected and when I upload the specific images into the folder this images is automatic uploaded into my HR documents folder okay as you can see this image is inserted into this HR document folders that means right now I am see this specific image when I go to my Google Drive as you can see this image is uploaded into the HR document docs user only can access this specific folder and user can only view the content of the specific folder as you can see and user can upload any files within a specific folder user can't view any folders or any documents in the rest of this Google Drive this is one kind of restrictions and these are one kind of security and this one kind of your project requirement in this tutorial we learn about what is Google picker how to open a Google picker dialog box how to upload a file into the Google picker and how to view and share Google Drive's item by using Google picker and how to download Google Drive's item by using Google pickers so before I finish this video I have requested to everyone this is my youtube channel don't forget to like and share my videos that's it for today have a good day